Hi guys, hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time to stumble here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. For my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining in. And for my returning subscribers, you all are welcome. Hello dear viewers, hi everyone, welcome back to another amazing episode of the Fashion Gleams. Of this edition, I'll be talking about the fashion style review of the Cameroon Film Festival, Camif. The Max Party, how some of our celebrities turn out, how some of our filmmakers turn out, in fact, how the show look like. We'll see, we'll talk about the wrongs of the party, we'll talk about who break up the the party. Until then, I remain your one and humble host, Prince Melvin. Let's get into the show. You all are welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you all so much. Welcome back, and I hope you all are having a good day. Um, everything is moving on well. First of all, happy new month to everyone. I hope you're having a splendid day, a splendid new month. And uh, I pray that this new month of May may come with a lot of prosperity, may come with a lot of love and everything. So thank you all so much for joining here. So now, having a theme of a max party, most people, let me talk about this, most people might not understand, but if we say a max party, a max party is to disguise yourself so that people would, Take time before they recognize you. They will be like, who is this? Before they want to recognize the person. So that is all about the max party. So it's not like just putting on a mask to cover your face, but also making yourself to be unrecognized. Like somebody has to be, like take time to convince before knowing that this is a person without knowing. Just from the mask, you need to like struggle to know if this is a person or not. So that is all about the max party. It's not all about wearing the mask because I'm getting into this show now. And there are some things that I'll bring forth to you that you guys will see and it will be so fun and everything. So first of all, let's get into the show. The first person we have here is Bomb. Wow, Caro and Copis. Wow, all right, okay, Caro and Copis. Let's start with Copis, then we go to Caro. Now, for me, Copis was just casually looked. Um, he was just simple with his shirt, his trousers, then his shoes. Then he added a max on it to show like the max party to come out with it. And uh, actually his outfit for me, it's not the best because it was not really that disguising. And uh, I'm going to give him a 6 on 10 for his outfit. Caro, I love what Caro is wearing. At least her gown is presentable. She's looking good in it. I love the gown. Then the max conception she brought into it, it's good and fascinating. I love everything in it, but it's she still yet she is not being disguised because if somebody sees her, they all actually easily know this is Caro. So I'll give her a 7.5 and 10 for this outfit. Next we have Ni Alem Menged. Wow. <laughs> This is just simple. Actually, he's good. I love his outfit. I love the hat and um, everything. He's good in it. Um, the max he brought in into it. He plays a lot too. It's good. I love everything. But yet, the mask conception is not brought in here. And I could easily identify that it was Ni Alem Menget. So, his outfit was good for me. I'm going to give him 8.5 for this outfit. Next. Um, wow, this is what I call a max dressing, a max coat. I actually love what this lady is wearing, like perfectly, because you couldn't is easily know who this person is. I love this outfit. I love the color. I love the sunshade mask she brought in. This is bomb. This is 10 on 10 for me. I love the way she came in. For me, she was perfect. Yes. Next, we have this, wow, wow, this is now, we are not talking of fashion, we are not talking of a max, somebody that could not be easily identified. I love what this gentleman is wearing, I love the sensation, I love the idea of the max he brought into it, the way he played about it. The gown is black, everything is black. From afar, if you don't know him, you will not know who this person is. Even though, even you know him, just the way he has disguised himself, you will not know. This is what we call a max appearance. I love his outfit and I'm going to give him a 10 on 10 for this outfit. Next on the list, oh, we have here Paul Elonge. This was how he was dressed. Um, anyway, I got that is good. I love his outfit, but I did not see that mask sensation because he just wore a mask and um, the mask... 
it's a different color then his outfit is different color that's blue and black um it is a problem there I love his outfit. For me, he's cool. The outfit is going, but the bringing out the mass sensation into it, it doesn't move me at all. So I'll just give him 8.5 on 10 for his outfit. Next, we have oh, this is Stephanie Tum. I love this black sensation. I love this outfit she came about with. I love her max presentation. She was looking popping and everything. This is a bomb for the outfit. You see the way it is presented. She was just well everything and everything. I'm gonna give her a 9.5 and a half for this outfit. I'm holding a half mark to make it top 10. But I love her outfit. I love the way she presents herself. Next, we have this gentleman too. I love the sensation in which he brought in the red suit. Then um, black trousers. I love this outfit it brought in that max conception it was a kind of mass conception then look at the design added to his suit then look at that his hands there's something added into it his max he came in too good i love this max sensation into it and i'm going to give him a 9.5 on 10 for this outfit next we have <laughs> i said i didn't know like i feel like this is just a girl a slave queen that just decided to just dress this way and go like wear a mask and because I didn't understand the sensation of a mask did not come out in this outfit for me this is a no I will just give this outfit a 4 on 10 for this outfit next year we have Oyama Laura wow I love this first of all she killed it in that she mixed red and white her beads are white her gown is red then the way they made the hand of the dress it's good the downer part of the dress she killed it the max just covered everything from afar you couldn't know it was laura but i had to search to know if this truly was oyama laura i love her outfit i love her presentation she was good and i'm going to give her a 10 on 10 for this outfit Next, we have this lady in red. Oh, yeah, I love this outfit too. I love the mask conception into it. The downer part plays a lot, the way it is being um, designed at the downer level. I love the outfit from head to toe. She looks good. If it was a gas buy something, she would have just added something on her head there and not necessarily needed the mask and she would have been perfect. I love this outfit and I'm going to give her 8.5 on 10 for this outfit. Next is this actor wow i love this outfit i love the creativity in it the idea um the marks in which he came about with it what he wore on his head he was presentable he was looking good and uh, i actually just gonna give him a 7.5 and 10 for his outfit now let's move to the next level and uh, who do we have here oh ah. <laughs> all right here we have docas popularly known as docas this was how he came about at the Max party. Um, actually, it was just simple and then the Max added into it. I, the idea was good, but the swag was good actually, but I think more would have been there to go disguise and uh, with the Max to play everything. I'm going to give him 8 on 10 for this outfit. Yeah, our next person. Oh, who do we have here? Asaba. Yeah, Asaba. This was how Asaba went for Kamif Mask Party. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I love her gown. She was good in it. The way it is being sold. I love the gown. Then the hand part. I love, love how she looks. The mask in it played a little in it. And uh, I'm going to give her... A 7.5 for this outfit. Next, we have Renew. Wow. Controller, you'll be my controller. Oh. Actually, I love what Renew is wearing. I love the sensation of her dress. Like, this is cool on her. The top hand going down the gown, the way it plays. Then the max played on top. The max matches with what it is the fabric added to the dress up. I love this outfit and I love the way she came about and uh, I'm going to give her 8.5 on 10 for this outfit. Getting in mind, here we are talking about a mask. 
we want to see how you come in with a max with your outfit so it makes it difficult for you to be presented it makes it it brings out like your outfit to be shouting that max out to play a lot you're not just dress anyhow then you come in with the max and you present that you your outfit was good your outfit can be good yes but now that max now had to top it up to be a 10 because some people are having 8 on 10 or 8.5 not that the outfits are not good but the max brought into it did not top it up that is why at the end of this show i'm going to present to you the best two people for me and i don't know what about you who came in the best for the mass party and uh, the next finally we have <laughs> these two gentlemen <laughs> wow the one with the black my god <laughs> see i just had the idea of a lion like <laughs> the way the guy is just standing and i'm like oh this <laughs> anyway i love that creativity in he brought in the olden day style the hair that he brought in into it to display then the marks that he added into it then the way he just frowned at the picture it was like <laughs> i don't know but actually this stole a little bit of parts and a, a little bit was being played here uh, i'm going to give him a 7.5 for this outfit moving to the guy next to him i don't know if you were actually going for a cultural gala then you just thought of oh let me add a max on it to like look like a max gala because actually this did not come on like what i had to see like what people coming with max his outfit was just like simple for me it was cultural and then he just added max on it for me i'm not going to give much max on this yeah i'm going to hold my max back and uh, i'm going to just give him a 2.5 on 10 for this outfit guy you didn't make it sorry for that so that was what some of our celebrities wore for the kamif max gala and some other people actually for me the best two who presented themselves who got my attention is this yes i love this outfit of this lady and this gentleman for me they stole the night they were the best for the night because they max themselves they were presented and everything if they were to give award for that Kamif night, if I was there, I would have chosen these two people for me. Who are your top two winners that you choose for the male and the female group? Thank you all so much for watching and until then, see you in my next episode.